So, you want to beat the final boss on this new map. I'm not even trying to pronounce his name right now. The map or the boss. <laughs> so the, the map is Fjurur. Uh, the boss is Fenersulfur. That, that's the only attempt you're getting out of me. Uh, but what's different about this map, and which I really love, is the tier system you need to get through to get the boss. So in order to get to the boss, the main boss, we'll call it, Fenner Sulfur. <laughs> I gotta be murdering that name. Um, you need to beat three sub-bosses and welcome back our favorite bosses from the island, uh, Broodmother, Dragon, and the Megapithecus. Uh, but in order to summon the Broodmother, the Dragon, and the Megapithecus, uh, you're gonna need to beat mini-bosses. Um, and the mini-bosses are Bela, uh, Haiti and Skull, which are a duo you have to fight, and Steinborn. So really there's seven bosses to beat on this game. Three mini-bosses, three sub-bosses, and your main boss. Um, and I'm going to show you where each one is and how to, to generate it. And uh, yeah, I'll try to make this quick because uh, it took me a while <laughs> to figure all this stuff out. But here we go. Okay, so here we are at the terminal for Bela. Uh, Bela is down there. She will spawn. I haven't done her yet and I don't want to move too much in this cave. Because I just came in here, I had to kill a bunch of stuff, and there's still some bears over there. I don't know if you could see them. Um, but yeah, so you come, go ahead, you gotta come in here, access the inventory, and you'll see it needs 30 rune stones. Now keep those rune stones in mind, because you're gonna need a lot of them. Uh, 30 to be exact for each mini boss. Okay, uh, I'll give you the coordinates here. Uh, I mean the map, whatever, can you, where's my icon? Oh, it's all the way up there, pretty much north center, where it says me. <laughs> okay, and here's your coordinates of the, uh, of the base. So yeah, you, you summon this guy in with the 30 rune stones, you beat him, and you get Bela's relic. And once you have Bela's relic, you can go ahead and go summon in the Broodmother. All right. Am I gonna die? No, I'm okay. I'm still poisoned, but I should be all right. Okay, so this is the terminal you're gonna wanna come to to access the Broodmother. Uh, I'll show you on the map here. Right down there where it says me. That's where you're gonna come to summon the Broodmother and coordinates for that are going to be right there. Alright, so you went and you beat Bela. So you come over here and now you have three choices, just like your regular um, bosses from the island. You got the, the Gamma, the Beta, and the Alpha. So you'll see each one takes different requirements as normal. Keep this on here for a minute. Um, they all take one Bela Relic. The only difference is what you have to add to that. So to get the Gamma one, you just need the Artifact of the Clever, the Hunter, and the Massive. And I'll throw those coordinates up here in this video somewhere uh, to go get those. And then for this, of course, you're going to need some Sarko skins, you're going to need some Bronto vertebrae, and you're going to need some uh, Titan, Boa, Titan Boa Venom. Um, different artifacts or the same? Nope, looks like... Clever Hunter Massive, Clever Hunter Massive, yeah, same, same artifacts, uh, just different stuff, and the RG Talents, of course. Alright, so that's how you get the Broodmother. Now, next you're going to want to get to the Dragon, so uh, in order to get the Dragon, you're going to need to beat the mini-bosses, Haiti and Skull, and uh, I'll show you where those guys are right now. Okay, and here we are at the uh, Haiti and Skull Terminal. Go ahead and look. These are called World Bosses, actually. I'm sorry. Maybe that's what we should call them. World Bosses. But I don't know what we're going to call the main boss. I guess we'll see in a moment. 
Um, yeah, so for this, again, runestones, 30 of them. All right, show you where we're at here to get to this one. Uh, right up there, blue arrow, right between my crystal and metal marks. Okay, and then you got uh, coordinates. Okay, so now you got Hadian Skull. You've got the Relic and any other nice little goodies that uh, come from beating that thing. And you want to go beat the dragon. So where are we going to find the dragon? And here we are. Inside the cave. It's not too far in. You just come in, make a left again. Um, I'm leaving all this stuff out just to, to save some time. Uh, the entrance for the relic here is right there on the bottom left. I guess I should say southwest. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you're going to get in, and your coordinates here are going to be... Bang. Okay, so now you're ready to fight the dragon, right? So, again, same thing. Beta, gamma, uh, alpha, or gamma, beta, alpha. Uh, first one is going to take a couple of artifacts. Again, cunning, immune, skylord, and strong. I don't mean again, I mean this time. And, um... Of course, the Haiti Relic and the Skull Relic. Again, you'll get both of them in one fight. You'll just have to beat both the bosses to grab those relics. All right, so now you did that. Now you've got the uh, Broodmother Relic and you've got the Dragon Relic and all you need is the Megapithecus Relic. Uh, so in order to get that, we're gonna need the Steinborn. Uh, <laughs> and to get the Steinborn Relic, you're going to have to go here. Alright, safe and sound it seems. Here we are. The Steinborn Relic. Uh, so yep, you're going to have to get your 30 runestones, put them in there. Uh, again, don't forget your tames, guys. You're not going to go in there. Uh, with just this poor guy, or neither of you will be coming out. Uh, let me show you real quick where I'm at. Again, down there in the north, northwest, uh, southwesternish. Did I say north before? I hope so, because then at least I can correct myself. <laughs> I'm just gonna say down there by the little blue, blue triangle thingy. Uh, that's where we're at. And of course, your coordinates: seventy-nine, eight, twenty-six point four. Okay. So now, you're ready. You've got the, uh, oh, I'm sorry. We still have to go fight the Megapithecus, don't we? Silly me. All right, where do we do that? Oh, yeah, this guy was uh, waiting for me. Hope I, yeah, I can get this guy. Oh, no, I got thrown off. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get him, dude, get him, dude. Oh, uh, woo. <laughs> I forgot those things can kick you like that, son of a bee. I don't really play a lot of maps with those big crabs. Okay, well that was a little exciting. So here we go. It is time to summon your favorite Megapithecus. So here we go, you need the Artifact of the Brute, the Devourer, uh, and the Pact. Same artifacts, you just need uh, other stuff course for the other tiers all right so now let me show you where we're at before I forget look at all the crystal I could grab in here I didn't even know that have to keep that in mind okay um, yeah there's your map mark down there by the me that's that's about my area of the woods if you're thinking of this as the United States I'm in that uh, I'm actually a little little more northeast. That's kind of central. East, eastern central, whatever. Shut up, Murph. And coordinates. Okay, so now, finally, you've beaten Bela, you've beaten Hadian Skull, you've beaten Steinborn, you've beaten the Broodmother, the Dragon, and the Megapithecus. So it's time to go face Fenner Sulfur. <laughs> And there's actually a couple of places you could find this guy. Um, 
so I'm not going to show you all of them. I'll just I'll just bring you to the easiest one, the closest to my base. I think that's where we started the video, actually. I forget now already. Okay, so this one here is called the Asgard Terminal. It's actually one of my favorites. It's got all these cool bronze or golden statues around here. Uh, but again, it's one of, I believe, let me see my paper here. One, two, three, four, five, six places you can uh, access this guy. But here's one, and here's what it takes. Obviously, the Gamma Broodmother tro uh, trophy, the Dragon trophy, uh, and the Megapithecus trophy. Or, in fact, you can do the um, Beta or the Alpha if you are hardcore arc dude. Uh, and that's how you beat the last boss. What else? There's a couple of other things we need to explain. What were they? All right, there's one. Now, I have to tell you, shit, he's kind of busy. There's an alpha raptor in there somewhere. I have not tried my saber against an alpha yet. But I think it's time. He's a low level. I saw him run in there. I can't grab him on my scope. He's going to eat everything there in a minute anyway. There you go. 13. He's got 4.3k health. I should be okay as far as damaging him enough. I'm just worried uh, how much he's going to damage my cat. But we're going to find out. Because this is very, very important on this map. And that's killing alphas. Oh shoot, what's that over there? Is that more? Um, it's funny because when you first start playing this game, you run across an alpha, it wrecks your day, and you fear them forever. Is that you? That's not you, you're an adolescent. That's not you either. You know, I'm only doing... I have to hit him, like... Okay, is that him? No, that wasn't him. I think he's over there. There he is. Um, I'll go take out that Allosaurus so he doesn't come third-party our asses. Actually, nah, there's too much going on over there. Let's go, dude. It's you or me. Saber's badass, man. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so this is what you're looking for. These are my first ones, by the way. Really? Two? Two! That's some cool stuff, though. But two? I need 30 for each boss. Now, I think the amount of rune stones you get depends on the level of animal and um uh you know the species whether the t-rex is probably going to give me a lot more than a raptor and a high level t-rex is probably going to give me a lot more than a lower level t-rex so there you go that's uh, that's how you get your rune stones. That's how you get your trophies to get the boss. There is one more thing I want to talk about before we kill this video. Okay, my mistake. I was thinking about this, and this is just portals to the uh, different realms that you could go to on the map. And that's that's basically another video. Uh, I will show you. We'll go here. This one's easy. Well, I'll show you this one since we're in here. A little bonus knowledge. Uh, if you have awesome teleporter, by the way, you can go right to the different realms. It's got an automatic um, thing there. So you can go here to 
Jornheim. I know I'm saying that wrong. I just heard some video guys say it. Uh, it doesn't really cost you anything. You just need to be level one. I'm pretty sure all of you are level one. <laughs> uh, and it'll take that'll take you to a really cold region. And when I say cold, I mean even fur armor is not good enough. You need you need like ascendant or at least journeyman or mastercraft. I would say I would say ascendant, but mastercraft or journeyman maybe really high level fur armor and that won't even be enough you're gonna need to bring with you an otter or something uh, or maybe drink some wyvern milk i think that keeps you warm uh, you're really gonna have to worry about the temperature out there because it's pretty much insta death if you go there without proper clothing uh, this one will get you to asgard as we said that's a very friendly uh, environment i'm doing a lot of stuff over there already so that's where we'll go just so i could show you and the last one is Vanaheim, Van um, and I haven't gone there yet to be honest with you so you guys go ahead and let me know how cool that is but really quick let me just put this dude away who I haven't even named yet and we'll go ahead to the other uh yeah you can bring tames with you too so um basically you're gonna want to build another base of because there's a lot more you know areas to get resources it's basically like changing dimensions you're gonna have the same map but the same things are not gonna be in the same places like it's gonna look like your map when you open up your map but if you go to where your base is say uh, your base won't be there i think that just uh paused what i was saying but then as i was saying now we're in a different dimension so if i open up my map it looks like i'm home uh, and if I went down to where my home is, down there by, um, pretty much center of the map, all the way west, that little island, that's where I live. Uh, if I went there, my base would not be there. So, uh, yeah, that's how you get to the different realms. Again, this is where we started our, our video from. This is one of my favorite places to come. But again, it's just a different map. It's a great place, like, for instance, to get, this is where I get all my cementing paste, because... Uh, right over there As a matter of fact on both sides of this so I can pick the other side for once uh, There's all kinds of beaver dams and things. There's a beaver dam right in the middle So I'm gonna grab some cementing paste And some silica pearls Boom. Where's the beavers they coming after me? just dead. Oh god, I'm too heavy. <laughs> but with that, guys, I guess that's where we'll end it. That's where you get your um, cementing based. But no, that's how you you beat the boss on this game. And holy mackerel, what an adventure it's going to be. Again, I haven't even started yet, so uh, I'm excited to do so. And let me know what you think. I hope this was a quick video. That's what I intended to be. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh shit, what I do?